Well, he better talk on it. But Jaden Chase, they have met the fans, they know what really I go on. Blessings Nation, and now welcome to the channel. Now, this is another tragic story of how domestic issues, domestic violence can take a violent turn. Young dancer sensation. Keshan, popularly known for her songs like Bubble Up Your Body, Don't Lie, Kill or Die, and The Goods, featuring none other than dancer superstar Vibes Cartel. Now, people, Keshan was shot in the head by none other than her common law husband, her boyfriend, 32 year old Tony Martin, who has now been charged for the Savage Act. Now, he was arrested and charged at the 100-man police station in Portmore St. Catherine after a question and answering session in the presence of his attorney. And based on the police reports, Keshan, whose given name is Kenesha Brown, was involved in a heated dispute with Martin when she was slain by the accused. The altercation ensued between them at Sharper Lane in Olaba St. Catherine. And the police stated that the Singje attacked Martin and wounded him three times. And in retaliation, she was shot once. But in an interview with the Jamaican Observer, Keshan's mother, Elaine Wright Brown, refuted the police statement, saying that her daughter did not attack Martin. Of course, Kenesha was taken to the Spanish Town Hospital, which is where she passed. And there's medical records and documents to prove that. Now it is said that Martin was treated and sent home. No doubt more likely at the same public hospital. There should be a medical report record to prove that. What is also shocking is Keshan's mother's statement that Tony Martin who was arrested recently and charged recently had only been arrested after two years after inve of investigations two full years of investigations now of course nothing should be rushed in these matters but based on Keshan's mother's statement they were witnesses to the incident the incident never take place at space, nor on a space shuttle. A shot was fired. She was injured. In the injured. A people take them, carry them to the hospital. So obviously people he did it. So with the numerous witness statements, the body there at the hospital. Her mother is saying, why was the investigation? taking this long and then she's stating that the report is wrong this is how we are talking about the issues faced by security force members backlog not enough investigators in the force yes you might have a good amount of traffic cops a good amount of cops in different units that do patrols but for the major investigative wings of the security forces are still lacking personnel enough officers are not going up the ranks becoming detectives investigation was the problem why this case took two years even though an individual used a weapon to take is common law wife's life. Now keep in mind, the officers did not state if he was a licensed firearm holder, and they would have done so. So an illegal firearm was used to take the life of a Jamaican citizen, and it took the officers two years for bring charges against the individual. And after a session of questions and answers in the presence of the suspect, the accused, the liar. The arrest was made 
because he basically confirmed the statement given by the witnesses that an argument took place and during the heat of the argument whoever was the aggressor martin was the individual responsible for taking the life and remember these domestic situations take a violent turn on numerous occasions this also highlights the next issue facing the Jamaican island that even when individuals have been named by witnesses even when charges are brought against them because of lack of investigation there is never sufficient evidence to whether convict these individuals more than likely the weapon used to perpetrate this act was never recovered so maybe based on the fact that only the statements of the people given and now the confirmation of those statements by the suspect maybe that is the only reason why the arrest could have been made because there was no evidence no weapon even though there was proof of the altercation because if he was indeed stabbed by Keshan there should be a medical report to prove that and the fact that the medical report stated that he was there treated and sent home she however passed while undergoing treatment clear pattern obviously the connection has been made the two of them involved in an altercation and the same people and bring them come and their statement is that i didn't do this to them one another clear cut definitely a sad situation though that based on the fact that these two were together as a couple life was taken because of an argument that's a sad situation that showcases even the mindset some would say though wasn't it self-defense if it was indeed true that she did attack martin stab him three times the story could have been the other way around he could have been armed but yet still she managed to take his life with the three stops well again with a death that's a sad situation because in this situation one individual has passed the next one life lifestyle mashup prison him ago facing life and him ago face life in prison now based on the fact that him take the life of an individual we him not try to build a life with it's sad and a poetic justice it's a sad situation and to the jcf the constabulary force try to incentivize some of these officers to become investigators become detectives because obviously no short staff in that department remember for the, co the country to move forward socially economically and even security wise we need a strong police force free from the clutches of corruption when i go say i get out every corrupt officer out of the force we are to be realistic but a strong stance should be made by the federation to point out to watch you know, we will not stand for corruption because the corrupt act of other members make the job harder for those who are just a try to do them job think about that and another note what take place on an island take place for diverse reasons and every individual is a criminal but situations do take place like this where a criminal act is committed investigators and police must keep in mind when they enter these communities these are law-abiding citizens until proven otherwise just like a jury are going to a trial no preconceived concepts should be used while policing unless we are talking about tactical and evasive maneuvers to protect life other than that just rolling up on individuals because them stand up at a particular spot and i say oh all right, no that not gonna work all areas we need to focus on bringing jamaica to a place where Returning residents and residents residing on the island can feel comfortable for move about doing their day-to-day -day activities is not an impossible task. We have seen other countries overcome worse. It is just that it will be a combined effort. One hand can clap, 
until the reason again you know the sentiments and for those who don't give me a trade and chase you know, mind if you subscribe turn on the bell you know, share the video comment section over 24 7 never lucky yet just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines but other than that drop your thoughts and comments and yes your opinions there and we can continue reasoning via the comment section until the reason again live love and prosper stay tuned